Gotta go. There's a sale at swords and such. We gotta oh, go. Oh, Let's oh, go. Oh, 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 oh. It's all the way up in the 30th floor for some reason. Oh, they didn't really make you work for it. No, no. I made an appointment. I swear, I made an appointment. Barrett, we're, we're, we're encountering resistance at the sale. <laughs> Attention, Avalanche! You are surrounded. Stand down and surrender to public security immediately. Shinra does not negotiate with terrorists. Yeah, clearly. Damn. We will resist and we will use lethal force. I repeat, Shinra does not negotiate with terrorists. Resist and we will use lethal force. <laughs> Got your lethal force right here, asshole! I don't think these guys are going to make it. No. Rip to the first time, the first guy in any JRPG ever, I think that is straight up mentioned fascism. <laughs> Dropping a whole place. Just like that. All right, we need to get no. in a really long fight so we can no get... Ifrit yeah. and Shiva and mm -hmm. Fat Chocobo, and together they will lift the plate. Ooh. Yeah. They're very tall. Very strong. You know, if this were like Final Fantasy XV, that could be a legitimate tactic because the summons in that game are just that big. You gonna rescue the cat? Please, let us through! <sighs> Not with that attitude. <laughs> You're going nowhere. We don't Where negotiate with specters. Cloud, Tifa, we have to get past whatever it takes. Right. Hey, uh, any of you ghosts have a fucking rad, like, chariot or anything? Yeah, are you friends with the cyber horse chariot ghost, or are you completely unrelated? I'm sorry, but my, my expectations for ghosts have really been raised. I don't know. Yeah. Just cloaked, hooded figures. Not doing much. Can't shoot lasers out of any eyes? You don't even have eyes. I don't, like... That. Yeah, this fight, just like when, uh, all the way back in, like, chapter four or whatever, when the ghosts, uh, invaded Sector 7. Gotta take out mm -hmm. the smaller ones so that you can, uh, stop the main, the main one from, uh, regenerating health and you can actually get a chance to stagger it. What's really nice, though, is now that we have both Aerith and Tifa here, uh, with mm -hmm. moves that are able to increase stagger percentage, if you, like, double Keep up with so both of them turn? doing that, <laughs> you, like, don't even need to do any other damage, just the damage from those moves alone getting multiplied on top of each other is enough to, like, kill a lot of stuff outright. Right, right. Thank you! Sorry about that. Don't apologize to the ghosts. She's got a very kind soul. <laughs> I, I guess so, yeah. If Tifa hadn't uh, kicked the cyber horse ghost uh, into hell, I, Aerith probably would have just, like, calmly sent Going it away in. or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One more shot. She'd just say a little prayer, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. you ready? Love the laser. And it works. Look at that laser gun. <laughs> Look at the damage, yeah. Too many. They just heard about the sale too. <laughs> I'm not into the swords, but I do love there. the such. Come on.
Cloud. You've been saving up your flip points for chapters and chapters now. Get up there. Yeah, you, be, you gotta be able to jump like 10 flights at least, right? What you got? Come on! <gasps> That's Barret! Witch! Wedge almost did an effective okay? thing. <laughs> he did an effective it's enough thing. Up. Yeah. They're trying to for him. the pillar. I know. I have to go back. Barret and the others are still Stop. Stay with Wedge. I'm going up. Sure. Aerith, going this is Wedge. To. We all laughed about the time he got I bit on the no ass. <laughs> you need to know that. Biggs, he... They were shooting at me and he... Wedge, please. Let Cloud handle it. Don't worry. I'll patch him up. Hang on, guys. Help is coming. Hope the wound in his butt didn't get reopened from that. <laughs> gonna have to pray at his ass now. Wedge, listen to me. I mean, Stay I'm way ahead of you, him. buddy. <laughs> oh, no, he's losing all of his tiger blood. Oh. All right, so uh, trying to fight your way up the support pillar. Uh, mm -hmm. This is a really difficult part your first time around. <laughs> uh, it's, it's just a combination of, you know, just solo fights with Cloud as well as the enemies here kind of ramp up in difficulty mm -hmm. pretty hard. <laughs> um, so we're going to be switching back to the Iron Blade, uh, more magic base, and also it's the sword that has, like, the biggest uh, boost to defense right now. Mm hmm um, yeah, it's... I would love it if that scene ended with Big suddenly revealing he can cast magic spells. Oh, shit. Yeah, you never see the, the Avalanche crew uh, cast magic. I, I would love to see, like, truly, if I could just have everything in this game, mm -hmm. like, regardless of how <laughs> big the scope is, uh, right with that camera part is where the, the camera suddenly goes behind wet, uh, uh, Bigs and you're playing as him. Oh. <laughs> I was, I, that would kick ass. Don't they have anything better to do? Tell me about it. You see how hard we want to see Big here? summon Cactuar. What's yeah. Wrong with these people? This is Echo. What the? Avalanche? Like the remake oh, makes the 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 Avalanche crew like more fleshed out characters, but the problem with doing that is now I want to play as them. Mm -hmm. They don't let me do that. <laughs> So since, you know, it's Shinra, it's mostly just going to be soldiers and some robots, so yeah, yeah. Uh, you can handle a lot of these fights a little easier uh, if you do what I did earlier in this fight. Uh, putting the soldiers asleep works, like, every time. <laughs> so it's a really good form of crowd control where you can just, you know, focus on one guy at a time for a bit. Mm -hmm. At this point, the, the soldiers really like to just throw potions on each other, though. <laughs> They're buddies. They're good friends. Calling fire. I'm waiting. That's that. Now we just have to do that ten more times. <laughs> Like I said, like an episode or two ago, this is also the point where I just have to start using the healing magic because the prayer materia and items just is not enough anymore. Hey, hey, guy! Haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> yeah, the shield dudes who now have laser swords. Yeah. Sweet dreams. Oh, by the way, because uh, the the. Update that just came out today while we're recording commentary uh, is the episode mm -hmm. where, uh, you know, Clyde has to do all the dancing in Wall Market. Uh, you yes. were joking about, like, it'd be funny if they used a licensed song for the Honey Bee Inn part. 
like mm -hmm. Rihanna or something. Uh, and I said, like, yeah, there is like an actual real pop star that became a, a party member in one of the mobile games. Uh, it's Katy Perry. To it. Oh. She, oh. Uh, for Final Fantasy Brave Exvius uh, on mobile platforms, she is a playable mm -hmm. character. Uh, she even created a whole new song for the game. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. I mean, Come she on. does. She did have like a boxing phase. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God, right, yeah. <laughs> also, I haven't really shown it off before, but you can still run from <laughs> most fights in the game, unless it's like big story things, but mm -hmm. just run far enough away and eventually you'll, you'll go out of battle mode. Hey. Uh, you were expecting something else, maybe? Uh huh? Mm. Maybe some more Shinry guys with guns? Hmm? Yeah, it's me though. What happens if you stick your head in the hole? <laughs> Biggs! <laughs> you made it. No, I might not. Hey, is Wedge? Don't worry, he'll bounce back. That's good to hear. Could have used some extra padding myself. <coughs> Don't talk. It's pretty bad up there. Cloud, promise me. Don't let it be for nothing. What about you? I've still got some fight left in me. Enough for another platoon. Yeah, or two. platoon. Get it? Mm -hmm. Don't gotta be a soldier to make a difference. Oh, one more thing. The Leaf House. It's an orphanage. In the sector five slums. The kids. They're great. I used to visit. It's okay, they like me more than you now. I have minigame privileges now. That you'll have to do yourself. Let me guess. Not a fan of kids. No. But you have... so much in common. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, Cloud. Don't let them replace me uh, with Ashton Kutcher. <coughs> is in your hands. So yeah, when I was playing the remake, I was just like, "Oh no, I'm not looking forward to when I get to the pillar because they're gonna, f they're gonna f fucking kill uh, Biggs here." And now they made me care oh. about him more than in the original <laughs> game. Because the original game, like you come here and then you you, you find Biggs, you know, dying, uh, mm -hmm. and it's just like you know you've seen him like maybe two or three times total, and he's had a very small amount of dialogue. Uh, but we got new Shin regards. Look at this guy, though. Look at <laughs> yeah. These guys also were in the pillar in the original. Uh, this is why the pillar section is pretty difficult oh, wow. your first time around. The hella troopers who have helicopter blades for hands. Oh, I wish they still wore that color, though. <laughs> yeah. Hella troopers are tough to hit because they're in the air. You know, air combat is a lot more limited here, um, and. They will just pelt you with bullets nonstop, and it just mm -hmm. slowly tears through your health. And every once in a while, they will swing in for a melee hit, where they will they will cut you with one of their blades. Uh, and if you do not block or counter that, it does an assload of damage. And sometimes, like we got two hella troopers here, sometimes they come in for it one after another. So if you get hit by one, you're gonna get hit by the second. Let's finish mm -hmm. it. 
Uh, if you dodge out of the way so they whiff that melee attack, they get pressured, though. They just get dizzy. They just start spinning in the air. Nice. <laughs> they can't keep their balance. Here it comes. Uh, let's do this. The good thing is you can still put them to sleep. They're pretty weak to fire, and if they ever do get pressured, it's you barely have to do anything to fill up the meter no. on them. Now, now, what about this Shinner soldier ju just there try trying to catch his breath? <laughs> Ah, fuck him. Wait, waiting for his corner, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, everybody here looks real sleepy. It's a big nap time here on the pillar. Like, the amount of bodies that are here that are just Sector 7 citizens, I feel like maybe a fifth of the population here has already been wiped out. Like, mm -hmm. a lot of citizens grabbed guns today. Whoa, look at the bullets. Ah. Nice. Yeah. The sleep is so useful here. I mean, yeah, just ask all those Sector 7 people. <laughs> I, I also like the helicopter guy's, like, uh, uh, gray fox voice filter. Oh, yeah. They really want you to hit them more. Yeah, I really like what they, uh, what they did with the updated designs for the helitroopers. Okay, I've confirmed it. We're in a cutscene. Bullets are far more lethal. Go, 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 go. I'm raising my hand. I have a question. <laughs> yes, Cloud. You down there, spiky hair boy. What's the question? That sounds like the opposite of what's happening. Uh, well... Where's where's the gun button on the helicopter? <laughs> give me give me the gun button. Well, I have a follow-up question. <laughs> okay, yeah, go ahead. Doesn't eyeliner usually go like on the eyelid? I'm a trendsetter. Okay. I do what I want. I'm hoping it catches on. First class asshole. Gotcha now! No more questions. You ain't got nowhere to run! I think I'm technically in a battle right now, so I can't switch my fire to lightning. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> Throw down your weapon and surrender. Shinra does not negotiate with terrorists. He's just got that on a hot key now. Yeah. <laughs> Through this cheap ass play. Now, while Tifa has like dive kicked a lot of dragons and stuff, for some reason her kicking this shit out of the out of the air is maybe the coolest thing she's done. I don't know why I'm so impressed by that, but that was a close one. How is it? Much better, thanks. <laughs> this little band-aid. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't stay here. I have to help them. Now, do the band-aids count as equipment? Hmm. Uh, Are those accessories? Follow your heart. Yeah, it, it goes in the accessory <laughs> slot. Okay, yeah. <gasps> Aerith. There's a bar in the center of town, 7th Heaven. I need you to get Marlene to safety, right? It's okay. I'll find her. Huh? She can hang out with her friends, the ghosts. Yeah. <sighs> can
Can you take her to the bar for me, Wedge? Consider it done. Now get up there Wedge, and this is not a date. Ass. Wedge, <laughs> Wedge. Saw that smile. This is not a date. Oh boy. Immediately just takes Aerith to all of his cats. Come on. Instead of, <laughs> Seventh heaven is this way. Instead of the bar. Oh, she'd be so Wedge, excited. Though. She <laughs> would be. You know, like, even though Aerith and Wedge have known each other here. for about a minute, I think they probably will get along very hey, well. Come on, yeah. come on. <laughs> We're supposed to get to Wall Market. Sir, yeah. you need to step It's these the specific Drop soldiers the again. <laughs> you don't let these people through. Back off. It's not going to happen. Uh, Wedge. Lasers, lasers. I'm no good. Not to anyone up there or down here. <sighs> That's not true, Wedge. Just give these guys a really big hug. Don't give up hope hmm? yet. We could still One of them could of really lives. use it. You don't think we're going to stop them from dropping the plate, do you? I want to believe that we could still win somehow. But something in my gut tells me we're due for a reckoning. Just this feeling. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. But that's no excuse to give up. I don't want to look back one day and wish I'd done it different. Right here, right now. I need to know I did everything I could. I'm always suspicious when they start talking about feelings of predestiny in a remake. Mm. 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 I'm not sure what's going to happen next. I've never threatened anyone but before. I am sure I don't want to <laughs> that was my first roar of my tonight. life. <laughs> Please forgive me if it didn't work out quite quite right. Our lives are in your hands. If you don't open up, we're all going to die. <clears throat> yeah, there's my boy. That's a redemption arc right there. <laughs> no, sir. I will not obey that order. I love that new recruit gets a little character arc. <laughs> Wedge, Seventh Heaven is just down this road, isn't it? But I'm not thirsty. You can't miss it. Don't worry about me. All right, I'll get these people to safety. This way, I'm get out of Sector really Seven, high please! High you high need to get as far away from Sector Seven as possible right now. Go to Sector Five or Six. Anywhere but here! You all have to get out of Sector 7! Now! Please! Hmm? Slow down. Do you know what's going on? What do they want with a pillar? I didn't see it in my cauldron. Well, there's still time. <laughs> but... They're going to drop a plate on us? <sighs> yes. Those sons of bitches! What good do they think that'll do? Feel free to cry about it later. Right now, we need to get everyone to safety. Wait, the watch should clear the roads first. Ah, good thinking. Hop to it. I'll get my broom. <laughs> yeah, just fly to the top, girl. Avalanche, I take it? <sighs> just a friend. Tell Tifa to lay low. We'll take care of things here. Hmm. She's got the magic broom to fly in. Give her a gun, some good materia, and some ethers, and she's good to go. <laughs> to get to seven, seven. She can shoot down the helicopters with fireballs. Yeah, man. <sighs> That's it. Oh, God. Look out! <gasps> oh, no! Let's see. How many people can you cast barrier on at once? Hmm. <laughs> Is it 40? <laughs> Only three, I think. <laughs> Also a new addition, this whole part, it happens in the original, it's just off-camera the entire time. Look, if they're going to make 
uh, uh, Sector 7, and they're going to put so much personality into Sector 7. Yeah. You're going to go, you're, you're going to revisit it. Yeah, totally. Hold on. Let alone just being a natural place to, to add content for turning your one hour prologue into a 20 hour game. Yeah. I know it must hurt, but you've got to be brave now, okay? You're not the kid I'm looking for. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, it's a little girl we uh, had to find cats for. Come on! I'll take you to her. Ready? Mm-hmm. Alright, shoot her with a laser and the knockback will take her to Marvel. <laughs> Marvel. <laughs> Almost there, okay? None of this makes any sense. Hey, what's going on? None of this makes any sense. That pickpocket is gonna have the, the time of her life. Nobody here is paying attention. <laughs> yeah, no. Where's that lady been? Can you walk? We've got to go I'll too. Be fine. The rail Don't fans worry. are finding conduits to safety because they, they know the network so well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get to Wall Market now. It's too dangerous here. Hope the shopkeeper with the ridiculous hair is okay. Quickly now. Uh, I got a vibe from him. <laughs> Can you take care of her? Of course. Betty, I've been looking everywhere for you. Daddy! <sighs> <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> Stop! That way's already. Please, I need to get through. This is it, isn't it? Almost it there. There's still. No, it's not working. Ah! Confirm. One more bird lost. Probably for the best. After all. Change of plans. You can take it from here. Someone's been a little too adventurous. Yes. Even more Turks. There were quite a few Turks in the original game. And then... And they all seem to have personal relationships with Aerith. Yeah. Uh, some of the spin-off stuff added even more Turks. <laughs> <laughs> the mobile game and the... Uh, the prequel game Crisis Core. There were a lot. There were a lot of Turks at, at one on, point. Marlene. Again, it sounds like you're describing the First World War. <laughs> oh, what I wouldn't give for some egg and chip right now. We gotta save that sign. Like, you're Marlene, right? I mean, you're the chip, clearly. Does Who that make you? me an egg? Hmm. <laughs> sure. I mean, there's some fan fiction out there, I'm uh, sure, but... <laughs> a friend of Tifa's. <laughs> you know, the punching one. Like this? Uh, where is she? Right now, she's with Cloud and the others. Daddy, too? You mean Barrett? Yep, he's there, too. Wait. Daddy's not coming home? Not yet. That's why I came to find you. Tifa asked me to. She said, take care of Marlene. I'm a licensed au pair. The thing is, this place isn't safe now. I'm gonna take you somewhere safer, okay? <laughs> Are they gonna destroy the bar? Are they gonna destroy our house? <laughs> Aren't they glad? I'm glad they got like an actual little girl to voice Marlene. <laughs> yeah. I know it's hard. Just remember, you still have your daddy. You can build a new home together, anywhere. Shall we go? But I don't want to destroy the bar. <laughs> My pinball records are going to be lost to time. Immediately getting a very cute image of Barrett having to hold Marlene up so she can play the pinball machine. <laughs> huh? We 
don't talk about my psychic mind powers. <laughs> Yeah, whenever her brain goes fuzzy with Cloud, she sees Sephiroth. And that's no fun. You smell nice. Oh? Like, like a flower. You remember it. Come on. All right. Step one, protect our lives. Step two, dry cleaning. Mm-hmm. Tell you what, we'll grow lots of flowers at your new house. Do you think that I could help too? Of course you can. Hey, what's your favorite flower? <laughs> um... I'm four. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the pretty ones. I've seen one flower in my life, so I guess that one. You led us on a merry chase, Aerith. Hey, baby. Song. Yes, it is karaoke night, but that's irrelevant. <laughs> Before you say another word, know that your options are limited. There's nothing to be scared of, okay? Mm. How about we make a deal? Darts tournament, darts tournament. <laughs> yeah! Squatting. Squatting minigame. <laughs> it's a minigame triathlon. All the minigames we've done so far, one after another. You and me, Sung. <laughs> what a move. Pop your head out and let me finish this already. <sighs> mm -hmm. Stairs. They're still saving their flip points. <laughs> Two birds with one shitload of bullets. <clears throat> hey! <sighs> the feather gloves make her more aerodynamic. That's true. You wear different equipment and that cutscene goes differently. You're crazy. Just like you. So suck it up, because I'm not leaving. <sighs> Damn it! You wanna explain yourself, partner? Uh hand slipped. I get very sweaty when looking at, at punch women. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Eric? I sent her to Southern Kevin to get Marlena. In Wedge? I would love it if there's like a bench right here and you took a nap. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think uh I'll see yeah, we're we're changing Tifa back to the leather gloves so she can do some magic as well. Um I'm thinking Okay. You know, Rude moves the helicopter out of the way so Tifa doesn't get shot because he just he's also a punchman. And you just see he can just easily identify other punch people and respects them automatically. It's punchman's privilege. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whatever the hell you are! Yeah, you, you kind of got to have magic to make these parts a little easier, because sometimes the slug rays like to fly outside of melee range. Mm -hmm. It's annoying just to wait for them to come back in. Chad Chadley is somewhere on the ground, like, taking score. Oh, yeah. He's got opera glasses and is watching every bit of the fire <laughs> Why doesn't Cloud simply just jump very high? I do not understand. <laughs> I must estimate Mr. Cloud's gripping strength <laughs> in kilograms per square centimeter. Walk this. <laughs> huh. 
God. J like, if this game were ooh, slightly... nice. Ooh, yeah. If yeah. this game were uh, directed slightly differently and had more, like, anime battle co-commentators off in the sidelines, that would be Chadley. Mm -hmm. He would be the speed wagon. I hope people are enjoying uh, Bizarre Podcast Dogs Must Die, available on, on all fine podcatchers. Yeah, take a listen yeah. to that. So yeah, you can you can take damage from the helicopter flying around here. Not really much of an issue on the normal mode. Uh, playing in hard mode though, oops, all those bullets can like they don't permanently stun lock you, but if you get hit by one bullet, you're probably gonna get hit by the next like a dozen or so. Uh, and they do a lot more damage, so they actually become like a real threat mm -hmm. on that mode. Hang back. Oh, and Tifa's also got that synergy material on right now, so if Cloud ever does magic, she will as well. Uh, ah, all right. right. Right immediately after. I don't know about you, but I'm over this shit. <laughs> I like I like hung over the handrail guy. Yeah. That's a good guy. <laughs> what was that? There we go. So, she can't die. Because she can't do anything that's not horny, and dying game. horny is bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think you're allowed to do that in a T-rated game. Today is your unlucky day, because I never miss. A rare variant of the thumbs up. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's a secret meter that eventually uh, Tifa cramps in every battle. Oh, uh, man. It goes on a certain length. Yeah. If her uh, unbridled strength uh, buffs run out naturally on their own, yeah, that causes the cramp. <laughs> but if you equip the, the banana uh, uh, <laughs> accessory, it, it, it just clears that out. You don't got to oh, worry. Oh, yeah. Um, are guys are seriously struggling to take down these assholes? Anyway, you may need to intervene personally. Whatever you say, partner. Keep them busy, will ya? <laughs> yeah, if anyone's actually gonna be able to... If anyone's actually gonna be able to do, like, air combat against the Helitroopers, it's Tifa. Like, Cl Cloud's just a bit too slow. I'm just hoping you rescue Barrett soon, because you need a gun. <laughs> we really need a gun. You yeah. really need a gun. Uh, a gun would be great for this section. It's, yeah. Like, I cannot imagine how difficult this must be if you just go in here, you're trying to do just melee. <laughs> <laughs> just meleeing items, maybe. Like, it is not, uh... It's not particularly feasible. There's a, a different take of this that just didn't work out, but uh, there's a funny bit where I killed one of the helitroopers on the stairs, and he went, Bleh! and then there's a weird thumping noise as his body just like ragged all violently, and then just vanished. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been a while since we saw these guys either, our Naruto boys. Yeah, the, the shock troopers. Like we're, yeah, we're, we're not just reliving the memories of Sector 7, but also Shinra troops. Yeah. And find so many little greebly goblins. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's it's kind of a fun contrast of like once you you, you fall down and meet Aerith and you do stuff with her for a decent stretch. Uh, and the focus goes a lot less on Shinra and just more on the slums. How it, the the type of stuff you're fighting really changes a lot. Like. Mm -hmm. And because they they've added so many like. Every u enemy has, like, some unique behaviors or different ways to deal with them that 
it feels weird to fight the Shinra guys again because it feels so different compared to everything you've been fighting for <laughs> yeah, the last, yeah. you know, multiple hours. Brace yourself. Yeah, this is also right about the point of the game, too, where it's, uh... MP actually starts to become an issue. Because, mm -hmm. like, you can no longer just rely on the lowest level spells. You gotta pull out the higher, like, the tier 2 Thundaras and stuff like that. Um, oh, something I, I put on Tifa to make some of these sections a little easier is, uh... She's got the stagger assist, so if she ever staggers something, her, her gate, her ATB gauge fills up a bit. Uh, mm -hmm. and... Anytime she casts lightning on, like, the turrets, the same time they die, they also get staggered, so... <laughs> you can just go one after another, just zapping each turret in succession without having to wait. Yeah. That was a good ragdoll. There you go. Yeah, that's okay. There's also in a, a separate take of this around this point where Tifa behind me just out of camera's view like barreled through some of those like traffic cones and stuff so hard that it like flew into view <laughs> violently <laughs> All right, e even the balance view mechanics this really is just like hey remember remember this yeah Revisiting all the hits of the earlier sections. This is just making me think that you've already, like, sent me the last video of the story. <laughs> Jesse! <laughs> oh no, she's dying of thirst. Oh no! Jeez. Tifa. If you could see the look on your face. You gotta wake up. You gotta meet my new friend, Aerith. You're gonna be so fucking jealous. <laughs> so, you're the guy who gets to hear my last words. <sighs> Lucky me. Like hell, they're your last. Damn it, if I gotta hold Barrett in my arms while he dies, too. Oh, okay. man. They were my bombs. They were all my victims. I had it coming. Jesse, you're okay. It was a Shinra Psyop. My KD ratio was getting out of hand. Just try to hang on. Pizza. <laughs> it sounds so accusatory. You owe me a fucking pizza, you can't darn it! Damn it! Shut up! Shut up and give me a pizza. Jesse, you are the one with the membership card that needs one more hole in it for a free pizza. You cannot die. <laughs> they card there for some reason. Tifa's crying. Did I say something wrong? Yeah, again in the original, you know, Jesse dies as well, and, like, she is just collapsed on the floor already, uh, and you can just run past her and just not interact with her at all, and she only has, like, one line to say if you talk to her. I don't know why, because, like, the way Cloud says it is, is, like, 
it's kind of funny, but like in the remake, it was just like, oh no, the pizza line, that got to me for some reason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You yeah. uh, You hear me? Uh, Come up Do what you want. We gon' take it. Barrett, don't fucking die. <laughs> Holy shit! Two of our friends are already dead. Get your ass back up now. Chopper's gonna chew you up. Still alive and kicking? Damn right. Leading man sticks around to the credit roll. So we gotta keep moving if we wanna make it that far. You ready? Yep. If only Stamp were here to show us the way. <laughs> that brave idiot dog. It is I, the final boss. <laughs> you. It's nothing personal, bitch. <laughs> that makes it sound personal. That makes it sound pretty personal. <laughs> if you end anything with bitch, that's personal. <laughs> Now we have gone. Thank God. Sorry, losers. Gotta play for keeps today. No time to dick around. Plate separation authorized. Awaiting confirmation. Plate separation authorized. Awaiting Why is that an option? <laughs> Why didn't they put that in the computer? <laughs> So, uh, I'm guessing Shinra either always thought maybe one day we have to drop a plate on, on the four people to teach them a lesson, uh, or they're just like, what if this goes just real bad and we don't want to pay the money for the demolition? Let's just put bombs in it ahead of time. What if we have to move Midgar? We'll, we'll make yeah. really, really big trucks and put one plate at a time on the really big trucks. <laughs> you ain't got shit on us. <laughs> Quick. Yeah, quick and run it away, baby. Yes, Cloud, teach them all you've learned about Reno. <laughs> As the Reno expert. So yeah, while Reno is still super fast and kind of magic-based, uh, he has a ton of new moves and, and behaviors and all that. Uh, something easily missed, though, uh, he has a magician's bracelet you can steal, uh, which is a piece of equipment that doesn't become available until later. Uh, so... Yeah, try to steal that. It's a really good piece of armor. <laughs> um, yeah, he's got most of the moves from his first fight, uh, along with a bunch of new ones. Uh, he And he's also just even faster than the first fight. He's basically never not attacking you. <laughs> he's just very aggressive. I guess I ain't got one neither. Man, we got Barrett back. We, we fucking got Barrett back. Uh, so I did it off camera, but I, I changed up everybody's loadouts. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, Bear is still gonna be a magic, like a support magic-based tank. Also, fucking Reno can juggle people like he's Dante midair. <laughs> yeah, been a while since we used Barrett, but, uh, we're still gonna be using his, uh, steel skin to boost his defense and lifesavers so that he is, uh, taking damage in other people's place and healing them automatically. Right, right. And I saw you got that bracelet you mentioned. Good job. Yep. First, first shot. Very lucky. Even with the the luck ups and Tifa's higher natural uh, luck stat, it, it still takes mm -hmm. a, many tries usually. Oh, Thankfully, Rio can be poisoned too. Good. Of course he can. That's how you know it's a good game. You can poison bosses. Yeah. Um. Also, yeah, Barrier on Barret, very good, on top of his already increased defense from Steel Skin, just so that we have to worry about his health less since he's losing it just from everyone else getting hit. Right, um, right. Barret right now is, 
has a pretty decent magic stat, but his weak point is that he's just has he doesn't have a lot of MP. So we gotta mm -hmm. throw ethers on him a lot. Also, like moves Reno had from bef the, the previous fight are just now like tripled versions of that. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> triple orbs, spread shots, I'm stuff like that. Uh, very difficult to pressure him. Basically, the only way you can pressure him is if uh, you block a physical attack from him, and yeah. he's usually not doing. I'm, I'm those... waiting for him to start throwing the orbs, and this time it looks like the end of a two-two game. <laughs> yeah. Stubborn little shit birds, ain't you? Prepping for bombing run. How come? Say what? I'm going to kill you because you're, you're kind of a little jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I'm rubbing off on you. Please stop rubbing off on me. It's a hostile workplace. <laughs> So, so now we are fighting both man and machine. Yeah. So starting this next phase of the fight, uh, Reno's using this pyramid ability that it's easy to miss, but he's rolling a, a new type of mine on the ground. Mm. Uh, and this is a mechanic from the original boss fight where uh, it seeks onto people and it traps them in cyber mines or cyber pyramids. Oh, no. uh, so you got to beat up that pyramid a bunch to, to release Barrett from it. Also, Tifa uh, has been switched over to the Metal Knuckles, which is her best uh, physical attack-based weapon. Uh, her attack stat is over the 200s at this point, and no one else is even, like, reaching 150. <laughs> so yeah, she just does a lot of damage, even just with the basic punches now. But also, I kept her, her parry slide on her because uh, it actually means she can like, just narrowly dodge a lot of his attacks and get back in before he can recover from them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Lucky shot! Take the lead. Gotta look! That's all! Damn it! Yeah, but you know he had eight of those in there. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Lift your wings, huh? I was planning <laughs> to join you anyway. <laughs> Any landing you can walk away from. <laughs> Come on. Let's teach him the Turks two-step. You could probably kick the ass of anybody who wears a wallet chain. Yeah. And I think you might have a moral obligation to do so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, this fight is pretty damn difficult, especially once, you know, Rude is also here on the ground. Uh, so on top of, you know... Reno and Rude also having just brand new attacks for this thing. They also get, like, combo moves. Ooh. So normal attacks that they had in their previous fight. Oh, also, Rude has uh, a heavy-duty bracer, another good piece of armor to steal. Uh, mm -hmm. get, get that earlier in the game. Um, also, Rude is weak to poison. Doesn't mean that he's going to get damaged more by it. By it just means that it's really, really easy to poison him. <laughs> yeah, they both have uh, some new moves, as well as this move called the Turks Combo, where they attack Ooh. together. But, uh... Don't overdo it. Yeah, I ordered the Turks uh, Combo. The pita bread is really good. Oh, yeah, man. Uh... I, I put haste on Tifa just so she has more opportunities to steal, because Rude is really fucking hard to steal from. I have bad luck with him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, they, they have, uh new combo moves here where uh, one of them will do and like right here uh, yeah Rude will like do his launcher attack to send somebody up into the air but instead of juggling them uh, Rude will then leap in from wherever he was in the battlefield and do the spinning axe kick on you uh, 
here, Reno is like paralyzing Cloud with a, a, a stun attack so that Rude can get in and land a punch without Cloud being able to dodge. It's a it's a cool <laughs> fight. Like yeah, yeah. The, the like you feel the teamwork from the bosses, mm -hmm, which is mm -hmm. kind of neat. And you just got to do do the same right back around on. Yeah. yeah. My turn. <laughs> <laughs> And it is possible to sleep both of these guys, it's just they're kind of resistant to it, so you have to try multiple times before you, you, you get it. You are just trying to pick back at that boy. I know! you think it'd be easier with the wallet chain. Just grab I mean, that's, it! That's why, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's locked up, it's attached to it. Oh man, I guess that's like in his accessory slot then, yeah. Resistance mm -hmm. to stealing. There's the terse combo. <laughs> if if Sung is there, it's completely unblockable, un undodgeable. <laughs> yeah. Go let me down, yo. Is that Marlene's mom? Whoa. It all comes together. It all makes yeah. sense. So yeah, no, nobody has any elemental weaknesses here, but it's still nice to have Shiva around. Also, I didn't point it out earlier, but uh, Rude, or not, not Rude, uh, Reno can kind of easily be uh, stunned out of some of his attacks by certain attacks, mainly uh, mm -hmm. Barret's uh, overcharge thing. If Reno ever gets hit by that, he just stops in his tracks. He just cannot handle being <laughs> shot in the face like that. <laughs> Get cocky now. Too easy. Uh. Let's finish this. Yeah, I put uh, the Fury Satisfact in Cloud, like, right at the start so that he could get his limit break. His new mm -hmm. limit break, Ascension, uh, is actually really good to use on enemies that are pressured and not staggered because it will instantly stagger them, basically, on top of doing an ass load of damage. Nothing personal. <laughs> Sleep separation authorized. Uh. Awaiting confirmation. How do we stop it? I know what playing dead looks like. I've been robbed. Where are you going? Move! Get, get real tired of your shit! <laughs> That's me to all the haters. <laughs> and you're also you're also shooting your own gun when you say that, right? <laughs> Metaphorically, in a figurative sense. Yeah. Separation imminent. Evacuate immediately. Blade separation initiated. You son of a bitch! What have you done? Remember, Rude said, I'm not a bad person. I just have to do bad things sometimes. <laughs> like kill tens of thousands of people. Jeepa. <laughs> <laughs> Good, they brought a medevac on <laughs> their assault mission. What do we do? Nothing. There is nothing you can do now. You can't do this! Eva! I found Marlene! Aerith! Marlene! My Marlene! 
What did you do with her? Where are you? I'm up there. We all have questions, and only Sung is raising his hand. <laughs> your activities unwittingly brought you into contact with the ancients, who is now back in our custody where she belongs. For this, you have my sincere gratitude. Alas, the sector in which you stand has been condemned. Ancient. Run! You have to go now! And where exactly do you expect them to go? <sighs> Aerith! A total fleet separation imminent. Evacuate the area immediately. No, no, no. Get the hell out of here right now with this. We gotta think of something. Yeah. Even a, a countdown escape sequence. We're going straight back to the beginning. <laughs> oh, yeah, totally. Hey, over here. Found us a way out. Tifa. Oh no, Wedge! <laughs> Fucking hell! He's saving his kitties. By the way, um... Just for a notice for people new to Final Fantasy VII, here's a shot specifically made for people who played the original. Who's the cat? <laughs> it's who a mystery. Who the fuck is this? Who's the Why cat? Why is this cat so upset? <laughs> One of the things people say about this game is that it really only makes sense if you've played the first. And up until this particular moment, yeah. I have no idea what people are talking about. Yeah. It is little Oh god, little uh, uh theme park mascot. I don't I don't get that. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know him. <laughs> and you won't for a long time. <laughs>